A simple self-care routine to help you prevent carpal tunnel syndrome from an occupational therapist. So first off, what is carpal tunnel syndrome? Basically, it's a nerve called the median nerve coming all the way from the neck into our arms, into our hands. When the median nerve passed through the carpal tunnel by the wrist, it got trapped or pinched by other tendons going into the hands who are usually used to flex our fingers. Those tendons are getting swollen or getting enlarged and creating extra pressure onto the median nerve. And that's the reason why the carpal tunnel syndrome could happen is because of the pressure. And then people would usually feel numbness, tingling, shooting pain into their hands. And then in worse, or in worse cases, people might even have weaknesses with their grips. So what we're gonna do? So because of the tendons are being enlarged here, so the treatment or the program to prevent carpal tunnel syndrome from happening is to decrease the pressure and keep the tendons very mobile. The first thing we're gonna do is a soft tissue release, which you will need some kind of lotion. Any kind of lotion is fine. You just place some of the lotion into your hands and then press your palm against your forearm. Just stroke it along your forearm. I want you to do this for 10 repetitions on each side. You will feel like the tightness build up in those flexor tendons going into our hand will be gradually released doing that way. I said 10 repetitions, but then you can always do more because it's very gentle, it's not gonna do any damage. Also, you definitely want to do that at the end of the day after the work from typing all day, using the mouse, using the computers, playing music instruments, using tools or objects. But then you also want to do it first thing in the morning because guess what? When you're sleeping for several hours, then the first thing in the morning, you will have a lot of stiffness from not moving. So it's also a good thing to do that first thing in the morning. So 10 reps or more on each side, that's the first thing to do, which is the soft tissue release. The second thing to do is an exercise. I call that the air guitar. I talk about the finger has the motion are from the flexor tendons going all the way from the forearm into the fingers, into the hands. The multiple tendons, they are creating the pressure to the median nerve causing the symptom. And then the way to relieve that symptom is to move one finger at a time. You are able to glide the tendon individually, separately, one tendon at a time. Also do this on both hands together. Make sure it's one finger at a time so the tendons are gliding separately and then eventually relieving the pressure to the carpal tunnel which is kind of a plumbing effect. You want to do 10 reps for each individual finger but then you can also do more as I said these exercises or programs are very gentle. So that's the second thing to do. The third thing of this simple routine is an exercise I call that a prayer stretch. Basically, you put your palms together and then press your palms down then come back up. This will help you to elongate the median nerve which pass through the front of the forearm, through the carpal tunnel, into your hand. You are able to elongate the median nerve this way so it helps to relieve the tension. Like I said, 10 repetitions, but then you can also do more. But the key of this is you don't want to hold it too long. You go for the point you feel a little bit of the stretch and then come right back. You want to glide it, you don't want to stretch it. Give it the glides and come back up. That's the third thing to do. The fourth thing I call that a rainbow stretch, which you start with wrapping your arms in front of you like giving yourself a hug and then lift your chest, lift your heart, open your hands and arms. Feel the stretch at the front part of your arms. Go ahead, do that again. Wrap your arms around you and then open wide. Wrap it around. 
around, you feel the stretch between your shoulder blades, and then open wide, so you feel the stretch at the front of your chest, front of your arm. Like I said, 10 repetitions for this as well, but you can always do more because it's very gentle. So these are the very simple things to do, the simple routine to help you prevent from having carpal tunnel syndrome. My name is Andy Zan, physical therapist, occupational therapist, and a Pilates instructor practicing in Austin, Texas. If you find this video valuable to you, please go ahead, give us a thumbs up or subscribe to this channel. We would love to hear your feedback and create more content tailored towards your needs or your questions. That's all I got for today. Have a great day.